Hey everyone, so the problem that we'll be discussing today is from the recent starter 17 and the problem name is new piece. So the difficulty level of this problem is very easy and its prerequisites are none. Now let us read the problem statement. So let's have a look at the problem statement. So chef's favorite game is chess. Now today he invented a new piece and wants to see its strengths. So from a cell x comma y the new piece can move to any cell of the chessboard such that its color is different from that of x comma y so basically you have black cells and white cells on the chessboard so what chef's piece does is it can move from any black cell to any white cell and vice versa okay now the new piece is currently located at cell a comma b and chef wants to calculate the minimum number of steps required to move it to p comma q so we have to uh, calculate the minimum number of steps for, to move from a comma b to p comma q so this is our task at hand so basically if you see if a comma b is a black cell and p comma q is a white cell then it will require just one move so uh, we can consider that as a sample case and we can proceed to the solution approach so yeah starting with the solution approach uh, we have Two cells given to us a comma b and we want to move to p comma q so there are basically three cases that we can consider over here so the first case is that a comma b and p comma q is the exact same cell right so in this case what we have to do is the number of operations is zero because you do not have to move anywhere right now the second case is that a comma b and p comma q are cells of opposite colors so if a comma b is white then p comma q is black and if a comma b is black then p comma q is white so this is the second case and in this case we have our number of moves is equal to one because it will take exactly one move to move to cell of different color right now the third case will be that a comma b and p comma q are cells of the exact same color so if a comma b is white then p comma q is also white and if a comma b is black then p comma q is also black so in this case the number of moves will be equal to two obviously because first we will move from a white cell to a black cell and then we can move from this black cell to this white cell and similarly over here we will move from a black cell to a white cell and similarly we will move from this white cell to p comma q right so in this case the number of uh, moves are two so basically these are the three cases that will occur and this is our final solution so now without wasting any time let us directly move to the implementation so starting off with the implementation first we will take input the four integers a b p and q so we will consider the first case where it is exactly the same cell so if a is equal to p and b is equal to q then the answer will be zero right because we do not have to make any moves in this case now the second case is that if a plus b modulo 2 is not equal to p plus q modulo 2 so a plus b modulo 2 is basically uh, we are calculating the parity so if they are cells of similar parity then obviously the uh, their color will be same but since here we are doing not equal so they are cells of different parity right so if a plus b mod 2 is not equal to p plus q mod 2 then they have different colors that means we will require just one move to go from one cell to the other and else uh, we know that they are cells of similar color that means the number of moves will be equal to 2 so yeah this was the code and you will get an AC if you submit this. So yeah, thank you and let me know if you have any doubts.